welcome to my quick review of Nikon Zoom Tats 500 35mm point shoot camera first you have to you have to talk about the parts this is the shutter button all type function LCD screen Auto focus window continuous button uh, shooting middle rewind button image size selector button set timer indicator viewfinder red light indicator if the plus is ready green light if it is in focus this is zoom wide and telephoto power button lens tripod mount battery compartment This is to open the back panel to load the film. Okay. This is the film pressure plate. And there's a film leader position index. Viewfinder eyepiece. This is the DX Cortex. It will automatically tell us the camera if it is ISO 200, 300, black and white or colored, or how many shots. This is the film takeout spool. This is the film guide. And then the pin remind fork. Let's load the battery. Load the battery you have to use coin to open the battery compartment. Careful don't lose the lid. This camera you have to use uh, Two two three battery. Okay. To check the battery, you have to press the power button or slide it okay it will tell you it will indicate that there's an E or the film is empty it always has the plus and auto if you see here there's a blinking light battery indicator the battery is, is insufficient so you have to change the battery Okay, let's load the film. Turn it off. Now I have a dummy film. This is 200 ISO with 24 exposure. This is all. This uh, film is for testing only, so this is already exposed. First, you have to open the back lid. Slide here. 
then there's an indicator right there that you to put the film leader all the way on the side okay also make sure that there's a groove here catches the film and you should align the film right here <coughs> and then you close that gently you can tell that the film is already ready to use it will go to frame one and then turn it on okay if there's an e here meaning the film is not correctly installed or properly installed okay this is the wide and this is zoom you can see there's 80 millimeter for the 35 millimeter wide it's automatically focus on f 3.5 and for 80 millimeter aperture is f 7.8 or 7 to 8 when focusing <coughs> if you see red light the plus is ready and if you see the green the subject is in focus if the green light is blinking the subject is out of focus this camera also equipped with flash shooting range if the subject is too dark the flash is automatically fires for film speed 64 and 100 minimum uh, flash distance is 2.3 meters to 9.8 for ISO 200 is 2.3 meters to 19.7 for 400 ISO is 2.3 meters to 27.9 for uh, 1000 ISO 2.3 meters to 42.7 meters for 1600 is 2.3 to 55.8 meters and that is for wide 35 millimeter settings and for 80 millimeter settings maximum of 6.6 .6 meters 100 ISO is 11.5 meters 200 ISO is 16.4 400 ISO is maximum of 23 meters one thousand ISO is 36.1 1600 ISO is 45.9 and this is all for 80 millimeter focal length now if you see that if you want to shoot a subject that silhouette or you want it dark you can cancel the flash by pressing this there meaning you cancel the flash okay but if you want it in also 
from his putting also so camera decide if the subject is dark the flash will fire now how to use uh, focus lock well same of the SLRs you have to half press the the shutter and then move around focus the subject if there are two two people standing focus in one one subject and then move to the center okay self timer self timer you have to press this okay press power on self timer press and hold now it's blinking if you see it blinks that's ready press the shutter Here you go. Now you can also change the self timer countdown. Okay, if you want to uh, change the duration or ti of timer, you have to press once and second time hold. And then wait to if the indicator blinks you can press here 15 seconds 20 seconds 25 30 and you cancel this here you go that's the self timer how to use uh, exposure compensation so press this plus button here you go and then hold okay. hold it will appear the exposure compensation right there and then you can add or decrease you go that's to stop okay if you see there meaning you shots has uh, exposure compensation you can check by half pressing this shutter so you'll see it's plus two stop How to cancel the exposure compensation again? You have to press and hold and move to zero. There you go. Check. not compensated anymore okay if you want to rewind mid roll you can press this one here and the uh, exposure count will count backwards There you go. Now 
it's ready and open here and then I always remove the battery after using and put in the camera bag 